Hey guys, it's me again. It's been a long time since I've been able to do a video. I've been in the process of moving, finding a new place to live. I uh, haven't quite found one yet, so I'm still with my in-laws. But I couldn't help but do a, a quick peek because I got something in the mail the other day that I have been waiting on for a long time. The uh, TNT-30 Mutant Genesis Hybrid Atomizer by Fallout Mods. Uh, yes, I have been waiting for it for about four months, but that is no fault to Brian over at uh, Fallout Mods Vape Explosion. He had a run of bad parts, and he was a trooper. He stayed in contact with me, uh, answered all my text messages, took my phone calls, uh, and as soon as he got the parts in, it was shipped out immediately to me. So, that's excellent customer service on his part. High five to that. Uh, but just a quick look. I'm not going to be able to do a full breakdown and tutorial of it right now. Uh, it's a 30 mil, 30 millimeter Genesis hybrid where it threads down directly onto the, the mod itself. You take the top cap off the mod and it threads directly on. It's a 30 millimeter goes down to 22 millimeter. It's got a stacked air holes. I drilled them out because I like a lot. I, I like a lot more airflow, but reduced air chamber. Uh, it's a nice size deck. I got dual coil, dual wick running on it. It's a stainless steel rope sleeved with eco wool. Uh, three wrap, twenty six gauge. Oming out to about 0.23. And uh, we'll have a pull off of it. This thing is a flavor hound. Right now I have some butterscotch in it. From Flavatine and uh, normally I'm a fruity kind of person I like I like fruity vapes they're a lot smoother they're they're not so thick uh, but I ran out of my juice and butterscotch was the only thing that I could find that I enjoyed and the flavor is just so enhanced through it Vapor production isn't bad either. I mean, it's it's a damn good mod. I love it. Atomizer, rather. So, one more look at it. You can see the steel rope in there. I mean, it's 7.5 mil tank, 30 millimeter, uh, around 30 millimeter atomizer. It's just, it's beautiful. Currently, the only website I've found that you can get it on is vapeexplosion.com. But last I checked, they were out of stock on it. Uh, so it'll be a hefty pre-order, um, if anything. Uh, and as far as I know, on uh, it costs $250. Uh, but it's well worth it. It's worth every penny. So... Thanks, guys. Catch you again later.